Hello YouTube, welcome back to a Never Have I Ever Played. Um, this time, I am Inspector Barry, and clearly the best person in Polycore Media because I'm British. Um, and I have some decorum to me. Now, this time, uh, I have played Greedfall, which came out this year? Yes, this year. Th that, this year. It's hard to remember what came out this year, because all the shit went down this year. Anyway, um, from what I can tell about this game, which isn't much, is that you're um, some sort of ranking official in a parliament, whether it be the son of the prince or... I'd, I'd, you're, you're high up in the hierarchy, that's for sure. Um, and you're being sent to a new island or landmass to, well, find things out or find a cure for a people who are inflicted by some sort of um, plague or illness, something like that. Um, now... What made me play this game is because when it was shown hey, off in E3, it looked really interesting. And, and so sort of had like a Dragon Age, Inquisition, um, fable kind of vibe to it. And, and that's... the nostalgia is what I enjoyed from it. From, you know, playing those games, to just the feeling of playing another one of them. Um, but other than that... It's, uh, it was okay. It's a bit um, clunky in a lot of areas, which is what I didn't enjoy about the short time I had. Um, it was it felt very... I don't know. It didn't feel like it was made for this generation of gaming. Like, if it came out on the, well, you know, earlier in the teens, like in 2012 or something, like, something like that, Maybe not 2012, because the Xbox One wasn't out yet. Um, let's say 2016-ish, then. It it would be fine, but for this sort of day and age, it's not that impressive, to be honest. Um, that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. It just... Um, yeah. But I, mean, I did enjoy the sort of setting. It reminded me very much of Fable and sort of fantasy medieval time, that's sort of my preferred genre, time, well, genre, time frame, something like that. Um, but yeah, the, I didn't really enjoy the clunkiness of the game, and some of the mechanics, they're taught to you, but it's not exactly very fluent. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but the combat just feels a bit iffy to me. Um, which I didn't find the gameplay tricky or hard. It was, if anything, it felt more like a chore. Because the mini, not the mini map, the compass that leads you to the objectives is quite um, under evolved. It's not very helpful. It just says, shows the general direction, but it, 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 it's weird. Like you'd have to play it to see what I'm on about. But it doesn't feel very fleshed out. Probably would be the best way to put it. Um, it's not necessarily tricky, it's just clunky. It just feels very not robust or um, bashed out, like I said earlier. Um, from what I can tell from the storyline, it's, it's very linear at the moment. You're trying to get to an island to find cures for some illness. There are some side quests or you know side missions that you can do. But they don't really link to. Some of them link to the main story, but others are just like really random. Um, which I suppose makes it more. feel well, it makes, it, makes it feel more open world to an extent, because there's other things going on than the main story, obviously. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I might play it just to. you know, play it and just have that sort of sense of uh, completion. Um, but I, I would need to be in a very sort of bored state to play it, I think. 
or high, you know, either one. Um, I, I've definitely played games similar to this, like Dragon Age, Fable. Uh, I'm trying to think of another example. I can't think of one right now. Um, I mean, I, I would recommend this uh, game to people if they like the genre, but to my sort of personal close friend group, I probably wouldn't because they're more multiplayer inclined, I think. Or they don't have the time to play single player games. <laughs> I mean, this game, it's got multiple choices you can do, so it has some replay value. But other than that, it's very linear, it's very... Um, well, I'm not sure. Uh, I might play it, if I, if I, you know, eventually did, you know, play it all the way through, then I might do it a second time way down the line, just to um, do the other options and see where that leads me, um, and treat each of the companions you can get differently, like being nice to one would be an asshole to another. That's the sort of replay value I get from it, but other than that, it's... It's like a really worn sock that you find and you're trying to find a socket to wear. It's just like, you don't want to put it on, but you kind of have to. It, it, it feels like that. But yeah, this... Uh, not review, but this uh, experience was Inspector Barry. Uh, if you've enjoyed that, my you know ranting, I guess, would be the more direct way of putting this. Um, click the subscribe button to follow more of my rants, or just add me on an Xbox, and you can hear it directly, live from my mouth.